there is a direct correlation between Greta Thunberg and also Russian climate propaganda. This urgency to go green, go green, John Kerry, uh, Mr. Inconvenient truth al gore this all this green 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 propaganda where they demonize nuclear they demonize coal they're demonizing the, the coal fo footprint and meanwhile it's russia paying for a lot of this fake science and propaganda because mm -hmm. they want to have europe and especially germany in a chokehold mm -hmm. which trump warned them hey y'all are going to be at the whim and mercy of russia and they laughed at him. There's that clip going around. So many Trump clips from years ago yeah. are fucking circulating. However, if you post them, you're shadow banned. And people on the left refuse to listen or pay attention because it's coming from the orange man bag. Mm -hmm. Right? A.K.A. Mr. fucking Nazi Hitler. Um, so there's a direct correlation between Greta Thunberg and all this climate talk to the situation we are in now. Meaning... The Ukrainian people have been misled thinking that, oh, NATO, somebody going to come save you. You might be able to join the EU and and all this type of stuff. And Putin been telling y'all for decades, hey, bitch, y'all need to quit. You know, there's a lot of talk about bioweapons labs right there. There's NATO missiles being pointed at them right there. Um, you know, there's this encroachment happening. And they've been telling you for years, if we need to go up in there, we're going to go up in there and we're going to wait till Trump is out before we go up in there. Yeah, <laughs> dude. So all you climate goofies uh, with your fucking Beto O'Rourke bumper stickers and your 10 masks hanging on your rear view mirror. Um, uh, enjoy it. Enjoy your inflation. Enjoy your war. You know, it, enjoy all of it. It, it. One has to understand, that, like, not everybody wants what everybody else wants, right? Like, we d obviously don't want the things that the people with the 50 mask on the rear view mirror and the Beto stickers want. But if you just try to, I don't know, dissect both both people's points or, or perspectives or however, whatever lenses they have on a little bit, it's really hard to make the case for the things that a lot of people on the left today are espousing. Like, it's just really hard. Yeah. We're not trying to be unreasonable. Dude, key fucking point, key point, key point of what you just said. Beto O'Rourke did a speech recently and he's up there. Oh, oh, Francis, fuck it. Call him right now. You Francis, big, big Don. Yeah, come on, man. Right now you're Francisco, he's big Don. Francis. You're not Beto. You're not Robert. You're Francis. So check it out, bro. He went up there and was basically hating on school choice. He's like, we can all have school choice and the money, and it's gonna defund the fucking the public schools and da, 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 woo and, da, da. and like, yo, I never thought people would be cheering. For the, this case against school choice. I don't know how school choice was framed to, to, to you guys, uh, people on the left listening and stuff. Like, the way I've looked at school choice is basically like the tax dollars that you pay follows the child to where a parent who's not happy with the quality of the education they're getting from these public school indoctrination camps can take a voucher like a coupon for the child's education that they pay with their tax dollars and say, you know what? I like this other school. It might be a charter school or, or something else, right? That creates competition between the schools, which arguably creates a better product and education for your kid. Instead of them, you know, eating horse meat <laughs> in yeah. the cafeteria, and, fake news, you know, no chingo, your, your fucking episode's going to get, you can't prove that. Anyway, um, I, I just can't understand how all these people were championing Francis O'Rourke hating on school choice. It's like, wait, you don't want choice? You don't want competition between the schools so that the teachers could do a better job and the kids, like, get prepared better? I'm so confused. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chingo Bling. Have you noticed that we're back at war? Gas prices are up. Inflation out the wazoo. The cost of goods. What the hell is going on? We try to make sense of it on this show. We try to bring that common sense. We try to cut through all the propaganda and the BS and give you the trill spill. But if I were to believe it, this is Red Pill Tamales and the show is blowing up. We're reaching more people thanks to listeners like you who put your shoulder to the wheel and contribute directly. Patreon.com forward slash red pill tamales you get multiple shows a week you get access to the discord and you get access to rob g's illustrious voice that's right every week four days a week patreon.com forward slash red pill tamales funds the show directly thank you so much for your support peace